Here's a quick way to add some nice shiny decals to your models. So the first thing we need is we need a model. Okay, we're gonna use this as our model. Looks a little bit like a helmet. All right, so in order to do this, we have to UV unwrap this, but have no fear. We can simply go in, select it all, press U, Smart UV Project, and increase the island margin to about 0.03. And we're good to go. All right, let's switch over to the shading editor. Now we're going to create a material for this. Click New. And we have a principal BSDF and a material output. Now, the way we're going to do this is this is going to be the material for the helmet. And I'm going to duplicate this. And this is going to be the material for the decals. So we need to mix them. Pull that out. Shift A, shader, mix shader. We're going to drop that in there. And we're going to take this. We're going to pull this down here. And over here, we can adjust our base color. If we don't, if we really want to see it, just move that out of the way. Let's focus just on this. Set this at 0 0.03 or 0 0.3. Clear coat, I'll put it at 0 0.3 as well. Gives it a nice sort of shine to it. Maybe 0 0.2. Okay. You can do whatever you want down here, add noise or bump or whatever, but I'm just going to leave it like that uh, for now. Let's take this and put it in here. Don't worry about the fact that your color disappears. Now for the decals, we're going to use images, PNG images. So I'm going to go Shift A, Texture, Image Texture right here. I'm going to create a new texture now for this. New. I'm going to call this decal and I'm going to bring this all the way up to 4k multiply it by 4 to get a nice sharper decal on the color click this switch this to white and bring the alpha all the way down to zero press ok drag this into the base color and because we're using PNGs, we're going to take the alpha of this into the fac of the mix shader. Okay, we've got our color back and we are ready to go. Okay. Over here, we'll switch from object mode to texture paint. And you can see we can already start to draw. All right. Okay, so here's our texture paint texture click new image your movie and scroll down to image settings click open and find your decal I'll use this radioactive PNG open that back to my settings scroll down to where it says texture and change the mapping from tile to stencil and click image aspect just to make sure Okay, if I hold the right mouse button, I can move this. If I hold shift and right, spot, right mouse button, I can scale it down. I'm going to press 3 to look from an orthographic view. Zoom in a little bit. If I can see my helmet. Hold down the right mouse button. Move this over. Hold shift and race, right mouse button. Right mouse button. Say I want it right there, but I want it on both sides. Under symmetry, I'm going to click X. Right, we're ready to go. Right click and just sort of paint over this. Make sure you're using a strength of, of one in the brush. Okay, right up here, strength of one. All right, when you're done, come up here, remove that. Now you can move it around and you can see I've got my decal on both sides. I can come back to the shading editor and I can make this look a little bit more similar to the helmet itself. I can use the same values. 
and I have a deck along here. Make sure you switch back to object mode and if you go to layout you can see I've got my deck along there. It looks looks pretty good. It's on both sides. All right. If I want to add another decal, I'll come back to texture paint. And I can continue to use this same uh, the same image map here. And I can paint right on there. Okay. So I'm going to click new, open. I'll take another decal. Make sure it's on stencil, image aspect. Once I'm happy, just make sure that Symmetry is on. I'll paint over that one. It will have the same uh, values in the material as I did for this one here. The roughness and the clear coat. When I'm done. I have my decals on there. Simple as that.